welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And we are back um, for actually, this is not quite what we've done before. This is, I decided I was going to review the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills look and then also recap how I felt about the season overall based upon each person. And I also wanted to let you guys know, I actually did see a preview of how the reunion is going to start because Bravo did just recently release the preview of like the first five minutes of what the reunion will be. So the looks now make a little bit more sense. And I know a lot of reviewers have already reviewed what the looks look like. But to me, I wanted to wait to see what the theme and what things were giving so that I had a better understanding of what if, if people hit the mark or if they didn't. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first, I want to review the cast overall standing up their looks. So as we always see, we always see like the full cast together standing up, kind of highlighting their reunion looks. And before you know what the theme is, and even with you knowing the theme is, <sighs> I really wish Beverly Hills would have a theme. I mean, they have a theme, but like, I really wish it would have like a color theme. Um, so we found out that, by the way, let's, let's, let's go into it. So the theme was cocktail party, outdoor cocktail party. So I believe it's alluding to uh, the Taco Tuesday <laughs> of it all with Crystal's event. I think it's a combination between that and then maybe the event that happened. And then also like the um, paella, paella making too in, in Spain. Because a lot of those were like kind of cocktail-ish type events. And then even Sutton's, um, Sutton had a cocktail party too. So, I mean, there were a lot of episodes where the event was kind of a cocktail party. So it makes sense that the look was a cocktail party. And the set itself, so first, let me go into the set before I go into like the everyone in the, within the review. So the set, they use a similar set as what um, the Real Housewives of um, EOC did of Orange County. And they have it where it's a projectile in the background. So they're in a studio and it's projecting <clears throat> like the outside. Um, I want them to continue that because I think that is really cool. Um, I hope they do that with some of the other franchises too. But again, why I will mention is I really wish similar to like Real Housewives of Potomac and Real Housewives of Atlanta, they always have like a color theme so that cohesively the ladies look good. Because what I was getting to before I went into what the set and what the theme was is before you know what the theme is, the ladies look like a hot mess together. They're not cohesive at all. Like they were, it seems like they're all on different themes. Together with the theme, it makes a little bit more sense, but it's weird because Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, they are known for their fashion, but I feel like some of them are no, more known for like individual fashion um, and not necessarily cohesively fashion. Like, this still was better than their look that they had for, um, they had another event kind of recently. I think it was the People's Choice Awards and they looked, that was even worse. But <laughs> for them to have the money and the ambiance and for them to be looking less than stellar, that's why I'm thinking if they had a theme, they would nail it every time. But that's neither here nor there. That's just a side note. So overall, the cast looks non-cohesive, but they almost never do. Um, which is why my only feedback is I kind of wish they would have a theme, um, like a color theme. Now, how do I feel about the season with the group overall? When, cause I'm about to tie it all together with how I feel about the season overall and what I am expecting from the reunion. Um, so overall, I really enjoyed the season. I did. It was less toxic. And ironically, even though their looks are not cohesive, this was actually, they were more cohesive as a group during the season, even though their fashions are not. <laughs> so I find it kind of weird that's the opposite. Um, and so I'm hoping with this reunion, um, we have some accountability 
and um, between people who really need to always, who never take accountability. And I'm hoping that there's no obvious alliances because in previous seasons, with Beverly Hills, especially the last season, it was almost unwatchable. There's too many alliances and it was really annoying and there was no cohesion. So what I expect from their union is, you know, some things somebody will agree with and other things. And overall, there's still some form of togetherness. I hope they continue that moving forward so that the next season it continues on. So that's how I feel about the overall, how they looked overall, and also how I felt about the season overall with the ladies and what I'm expecting for the reunion as well overall. Now let's get into the individual looks now. Okay, so the first look that we're going to go for and look at is Kyle Richards. Now her picture that she took solo um, that was released like, you know, Bravo Insider. Did not love it. Um, it is a better dress than what she normally wears. Um, because typically in reunion, she always dresses like, is always giving, um, she's kind of dance, like kind of dressed like a teenager and her hair sometimes is kind of done like a teenager a little bit, like especially last season. Like she had, she, she, she really does sometimes channel early 2000s like dressing. But this time, I do like how she dressed. Now, I don't love the pose um, because the way she's posing and kind of the way her hair is, her ears are poking out a little bit. And because she's wearing a green dress, she kind of looks like an elf. Even though I know sitting down, this dress probably looks amazing. And I actually saw, you know, the, since I saw the previews of what the reunion looks like, she actually looks a lot better on the reunion set once things are, you know, unveiled. And her dress actually does make sense for the theme. So if I was to rate, if I would have rated this before, I probably would have rated this. I probably would have given it um, a seven before. And because it does actually match the theme, I'm bumping it up to an eight and I'm going to say that this picture that's on Bravo Insider was not a good picture because sitting down, the dress looks amazing. Standing up because Kyle Richards and her um, physique is gorgeous, you know, because she's been working out constantly. That was kind of like one of the things during the season. Um, and I like that she finally did away with dressing like a teeny bopper. Like it, this looks to me. And I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to do ageism or anything like that. It's just, there's a way to dress youthfully without it looking like you're trying, you're giving try hard. There's a way of doing it, <laughs> you know? And whenever she would dress youthful, it gave a little bit more try hard versus um, youthful, but it matches. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but we're definitely not doing ageism over here because... I'm not as far away of age of Kyle Richards as like <laughs> you would think. Like I have a like I have a sister who's her age, so we're we're not age we're not age shaming over here. So that's not what I'm saying. It's just you know there's a way of doing it. Like I would look very silly. Let's put it this way: I would look silly if I dressed like a teenager. I could dress youthful where I look like I can be kind of like wearing something that a teenager might wear, but I should not dress exactly like a teenager. That's kind of what I'm referring to. A difference there but because she didn't do that this um reunion and i do love this color on her it's just this pose in her with her ear out it did not help um again sitting down the dress it and with the lights of the studio once they unveiled the set it, it looked good so now the next person who I'm reviewing, um, she makes an appearance, just in case y'all didn't know, spoiler alert, Kathy Hilton does make an appearance on this reunion. I'm assuming it's probably going to be part two or three. It would not be part one, clearly, because she wasn't even on the season the whole entire time. Um, she was friend of previous seasons, like the last season, the season before, and I want to know what your thoughts were, the fact that she was gone this whole season. 
It clear. I mean, it made sense for obvious reasons. Her and Kyle were not in a good place until after the season wrapped up. But I'm also kind of glad that she wasn't on there. We kind of need a break. Um, because <laughs> Kathy and Kyle together, um, when they get along, <clears throat> it's awesome. It's just when they're off, it's toxic. Um, similar to Kyle and Kim. When they get along, it's great. But when they don't, it's toxic. And it's not really just one sister that's an issue. I feel like they all have their little flaws. Um, so there's that. But anyway, the look. Kathy is giving old money with this look. <laughs> and she's wearing her signature look that she has worn multiple times before. Her, um, her beautiful, I love the shoes, by the way. The shoes are great. And the first um, pose, by the way, with Kyle, I couldn't see the sho shoes. But I love that we get a full body picture of Kathy. I think Kathy nailed it. She still looks like her. Um, she's old money, so there's no need to go over the top here. And I'm pretty sure what she's wearing costs her some money anyway. Um, and her hair looks amazing. Um, I love the purse. That's her signature purse that she has. Her shoes, I love the shoes. But the outfit is the outfit she would always wear. So, I mean, I'm going to give it an eight. I mean, it's kind of hard to rate Kathy Hilton and what she's wearing because... Kathy Hilton, if anything, she's very consistent on the looks that she gives. Her looks are very similar, like almost always. I feel like she has this particular outfit in multiple colors and multiple versions of this outfit because it's very much her stereotypical signature look that you've seen throughout the years of her. So it, it, it makes sense. But um, I don't really have. Oh, wow. I almost forgot the other part I was supposed to be doing is with Kyle and how I feel about her this season and what I'm looking forward to with the reunion and moving forward. Kyle didn't, Kyle was very frustrating this season more than ever because she did not, um, as a viewer, as a viewer, she was very frustrating because she just breadcrumb, breadcrumb, breadcrumb to not release anything. Um, and I'm hoping with the reunion, she actually does share more of what's going on. But from a human, a human standpoint, I understand it because this is her real life and it's really her family and her family is basically falling apart in front of her eyes. So I will understand she doesn't want to share that, but at the same token, that's what she signed up for. Like in the words of Drake, you, you knew what it was when you signed up, like you, you knew what it was. So you have, like, you can't, you, that's part of it. Um, I think there could have been a way that she could have done things, you know, differently. For example, even when she did finally start to share a little something, I don't think we need to see that scene with her kids. I really did not need to see that. You could have shared what was going on without your kids being involved. Um, you're, you could have done that conversation with your kids off camera. And then because at the end of the day, it's what's going on with you and Mo. Um, I would only maybe the kids can maybe be brought in and what I mean kids, I mean, basically mainly Portia cause Portia is like not an adult yet legally. All the rest of them are, you know, adults legally, but I still would have preferred that, you know, the kids could share their thoughts after the dust is settled and not so much the raw emotions. Cause that for me. When I saw the season finale, that was like the worst. That that broke my heart. I was sad. And I kind of, I kind of was looking at Kyle and really Kyle funny. I was looking at her like, child, this is giving you explaining your kids. Like it, it, it didn't, it wasn't a good look. But anyway, so I know this is kind of the Kathy segment, but I already mentioned Kathy was not on the season. <laughs> but what I would expect from Kathy is I would love for her to make, um, become friend of for next season. So that's all I got for Kathy. I want her to come back, be friend of next season. And hopefully during the reunion, she brings a light, fun energy. And no her getting people together, Kathy. Because, yeah, she got it in her, but I don't want to see that version of Kathy ever again. <laughs> A.K.A. 
Lisa Renna can never come back as long as Kathy has the rights to sometimes call him on the show. I don't want to ever see Lisa Renna again. Anyway, y'all already knew I felt that way. But back to Kyle. So with Kyle, um, I do want her, I hope she opens up more. And I hope she actually finally takes accountability. I feel like that's a pipe dream because she never does that. And she is a professional victim. I just, it would make Kyle so much like, more likable if she would stop that thing that she does. And I don't understand how she doesn't know that she does that. Like, I feel like it's been mentioned so often that this is a thing that she does and she just ignores it. It's like, do you watch yourself on TV and see that you literally come off as a professional victim. And I will be talking more about Kyle a little bit with another lady because <laughs> Kyle just stayed in the mess this season and that's why she's on the hot seat. Even though whether she's in the hot seat or not, she always sits next to Andy, but that's a whole nother subject. But that's why I expect of Kyle for the reunion. And hopefully next season we see Kyle opening up more and sharing what it is like to be separated but still living in the same house. And if and also is she is she dating? What is going on with her and Morgan Raid? Like, I don't like this breadcrumb thing. If you're gonna do that, then get off the show. That's all I gotta say about that. On to the next lady, though. So the next lady we have is Miss Erica Jane. And honey, for the theme, especially now knowing what the theme is, it's a 10. 10 out of 10. She nailed it. This is definitely what you will wear at a cocktail party. It's perfect. Before I knew that this was a cocktail party, I gave it an 8. So it got bumped up by two points because now I know, oh, this is an evening cocktail party. So what she's wearing is the most appropriate probably of all of them. Easily. Her hair looks amazing. She's looking like money. She looks like she has gotten her confidence back. Um, she doesn't seem as toxic as she was before, even though we know the girl is always going to have that in her. She showed it multiple times. She still is toxic and still is pretentious and vain. But, I mean, they are in Beverly Hills, so. And she didn't marry her ex-husband for good looks. So, I mean, what do you expect? I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't expect a saint out of the way someone, what, the reason someone marries someone. You might as well, you, as part of it is like you kind of do realize, oh, their moral compass might be a little bit off. And yeah, Erica definitely has that where her moral compass is not the best. But how I review Erica's season overall, she definitely turned it around. She did her job. She did exactly what she set out to do, which was redemption season with a little bit of toxicity still in there to still let us know she's still her. Um, and towards the end, she was kind of getting on my nerves about them damn marrings, but overall she did a great job of the redemption arc and I loved her and Garcelle's banter and I want more of that. And when Garcelle, Sutton and Erica were together getting litty lit, that was literally one of my favorite scenes of the season. That was one of my favorites. And then Erica, even though she was trying, she, even though she was a little bit on the drunky drunk side, I don't know if she was trying to take sunshine or not. I don't even know. Don't even care. That Merce is in the purse. <laughs> Merce is in the purse. <laughs> she killed me with that. She killed me with that. It was funny. At first I found her annoying, but then once she started like, it, it, it landed after a while. I was like, okay, okay, okay. She's performing. Are you not entertained? She's a performer, remember? And I will say this too. I've never heard that whole, the whole entire song of It's Expensive to Be Me until the season finale. And now I realize I've heard that song before. I was bopping to it. Didn't even know it was her. Because <laughs> they do play that in the gay clubs. 
They, they, yeah, the gays love Erica. <laughs> they, they do. They do. And I've heard it and I didn't know it was her. I didn't even know it. I didn't, I guess I expected it to be more poppy and not dancey. And yeah, the auto tune is all the way up. But anyway, yeah. So Erica's season overall, I enjoyed her. She did, um, she did, she kind of did a good job of doing this to me just a little bit, but because she still is not showing enough empathy for me when it comes to these victims, I'm still sighing her a little bit, but as far as entertainment, she was entertaining to watch and not, she was still cringe, but she was more entertaining than cringy. So I hope to see more of her next season and I'm hoping, um, during the reunion, she, um, even though she's, you know, being supportive of Kyle, I need her to hold Kyle accountable just a little bit. And I need her, I'm hoping she actually, um, shows a little bit more empathy during the reunion. And I'm hoping moving forward, she is able to channel more empathy. And hopefully we see more of this softer side of Erica with the dog in her because the way she read um, Denise, her rights. That's, I ain't gonna lie. I forgot I kind of missed the old Erica when it comes to that a little bit. Because she did it, but she did it in a way where she did it and then she was done. It wasn't like, see you next Tuesday. It wasn't mob wife-ish. I don't want her to go back to that mob wife bag. Like, this is not the mob wives. This is Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So, that's what I'm expecting for her for next season. I also want to see more of like her working on her career. Hopefully she gets back to doing like maybe like Broadway or something. Because to me personally, I think Erica would shine a lot better doing Broadway. I think that's more of her thing. Like for real, for real. I know she wants to focus on this music career. But I think Broadway would be so much better. Because she's so theatrical. I could see her doing like Roxy again or something like that. Or even like television, like scripted television. I could see that too with her. She does have potential to do other things besides the show. We'll just say that. Um, you know, you don't have to be the most moral person to be a great entertainer. We know that. <laughs> anyway, so <clears throat> yeah, I'm hoping with the reunion, she is. Um, also, I hope she kind of. It somewhat doesn't just like leave like Dorit in the dust because Dorit does need somebody. But at the same time, okay, there's two parts to it. I kind of want her to support Dorit a little bit based off of what I will mention when we do get to Dorit. Or if you're not going to support Dorit, I hate to say this, I'm okay with this being Dorit's last season. Because... Yeah, we'll get, to, we'll, we'll talk more about to read when we get to her, but I just want Erica to show more support. And I also want, I want her cause her and son, something happened between the season and, and before the reunion where her and son are not in a good place again. They're not, in a, they're not in the place they were a couple years ago, but there's, they're not in a good place again. And I hope during the reunion, they get that resolved. So that's my thoughts on Erica Jane for the season, why I expect a reunion, and why I expect for next season. Speaking of Dorit, <laughs> girl, I've had to look, I've looked at this look multiple times, and this is with knowing what the theme is, and this is even before the theme. I love that she took the risk, because out of everyone, she took the most risk. Based off, especially now knowing what the theme is, she took the most risk because this is not even, this is not an evening cocktail look. This is couture runway look, but it just doesn't land for me based upon her hair. I don't like what she did with her hair. I don't like this thing that she did here. She has this thing going on. I don't like it. Um, her earrings are beautiful. Um, she was actually late. Showing up, you'll find that out when we see the reunion. She was the last one on set um, to get to set to be seated. And 
I don't know. It seems like she was just trying to give showstopper, but for Dorit, this look kind of encompasses how I felt about her during the season. Such a contradiction. <laughs> Such a contradiction is that is Dorit in a nutshell. Like what has kept her on this show for so long is her fashions. This whole entire season, she did she she only had like maybe one or two scenes where she was given fashion, and her confessionals were given fashion, but like she was dressing so homey for most of the season. She was not giving fashion at all this season. And then her and her storyline with PK, because she's not completely honest and transparent, and Dorit and PK just has always given out fake. It's not a believable storyline. Or even if it is a real storyline, because you're not, she's not sharing enough. It's just like, we don't care. Um, but the storyline that was interesting that I wish she would have harpered on more, she sprinkled it in there, but not so much. And we're going to probably address it a lot more during this reunion was her and Kyle falling apart. Like her, up until this last, se this season, this past season, Kyle and Dorit have been like besties. At least it comes off that way watching. And this season, they definitely were not. Like Dorit, the whole entire season looked like she was an island on her own. The only person that she really talked to during the season was Erica. And that looked like that could have been fleeing too. Because I feel like Erica was talking to everyone, like kind of equally. Um... The only person that Erica probably talked to the most was probably Kyle. It's like Erica took um, Dorit's spot. It, it comes off that way. Um, so it almost seems like, <laughs> seems like Erica and Kyle have a little bit of alliance. Just a little bit. Um, and Dorit got kicked off the island. <laughs> so I did mention that if... Dorit doesn't get support from Kyle. She pro she might as well just, this might be her last season. Because the storyline between her and PK, it's not enough. It's not captivating enough for her to be on the show. And we still don't really know the real lives like that. And, it's, and also, that whole thing with PK and her is contradictory. You have the confessionals where she's saying how she really feels because... Dorit the season was a confessional gangster. Like she was just, she was shading everybody, saying everything on the confessionals. But then on screen, she was a whole entire different person. So contradiction. <laughs> Even when it came to like her relationship with her husband, PK. And on, on screen, she's like, oh, Bubba, 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 Bubba. But then, but then on the confessional, I don't know how much longer we can last. So, um, but I don't know. I think she's dressing this way also because this doesn't match. Oh, and how do I rate this? I will give this look. Oh, if it was a different theme, I would give it a 10, but it's not. No, I'll give it like a nine if it was a different theme. But since it's an evening cocktail, I'm giving it an 8.5. I think it's an 8.5. Because I like that she took the risk, so she's getting a half a point because that risk. Um, I just didn't. I just don't like she did her hair, and I think I'm still not used to seeing Dorit with dark hair. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm still just not used to seeing her with the dark hair. But anyway, so one of the things we saw preview wise and by the way spoiler alert if you guys have not watched the pre the preview of the first five minutes of the reunion um kyle out of nowhere sends her text message the day of the reunion pretty much kind of like gaslighting her so that she doesn't spill any beans in when it comes to like what's going on with kyle's life if you want, and, and I should, I, I almost want to post, I'm going to post it. 
I am going to post it here right now. What she, what she said. Child. And Dorit called it out and put, and put it out there. Like, yeah, she tried to like silence me. What is that? We were friends and now you're trying to silence me. And she's saying this to Erica. So I don't know if Erica is going to be the mediator or if she's going to throw Dorit under the bus. And that's what I'm, that's what I was trying to, that's what I'm trying to figure out. And hopefully we'll get that answer during the reunion. But based off of this five, the first five minutes of, re, of the reunion, and then also what I saw preview wise for the reunion. And sorry, I got distracted. There, it's snowing outside. <laughs> It went from 60 degrees two days ago to it being in the 30s and snowing here. But anyway, um, but based upon what we've seen so far, this reunion might save her. And now I'm just like, was this a pawn scheme to get us with the BS? <laughs> because if Dorit can, can have a good reunion, it might be enough to keep her. Um, even though she does, her storyline doesn't give anything. And because she isn't really friends with anyone anymore, there's really nothing tying her to the group. She seems definitely like the odd man out. Like, out of everyone, she's the odd man out. Like, kind of. To the, kind of, I'll say that. Eight and a half on her, they both look like they could be expendable. And I can't, sorry, shout out to Kim Pyre. I called her eight and a half because that's literally what Kim Pyre calls her because that's what she called herself on, I think, season um, episode seven. Anna Marie, she called herself eight and a half. And now I, every time I do reviews, I have to stop myself from saying eight and a half because I know that is a Kim Pyre thing. I'm giving the credit to you, Kim Pyre. Shout out to you. Um, Anne Marie, but like Anne Marie and... Um, Dorit are definitely expendable when it comes to like the show so far. So, and I, I know I'm skipping ahead, but I guess what I expect from Dorit is, I already mentioned the reunion. Okay. So I mentioned the looks. I mentioned what she gave this season. It wasn't that great of a season for her. Um, I, I kind of, she can go. Um, I hopefully she just does enough to like close things off with the reunion I don't, I, even if she does have an awesome reunion, honestly, I still don't want her to come back. Or if she does come back, I would like her to be friend of, but I don't know who she's going to be friend of because she's not friends with any of these women anymore other than Erica. And I don't even know if that's really a thing. We'll find out during the reunion. But that's my thoughts on three. Miss Garcelle Duve. Okay, she's looking like money. And I will say this, she is dressed perfectly i would say before i knew what the theme was i would have given her a 9.5 and now knowing the theme i'm still giving her a 9.5 she did that it's a good look it's a good look it's probably one of it's not her best look for reunions but it's it is good um it's hard for me to rate garcelle because garcelle's fashions i don't be understanding why her fashions be so bad <laughs> she is not the fashion girl of these ladies she just be having the weirdest looks, but this look, it, and also too, her and Erica kind of match as far as like the theme. They look like they're cohesive. Um, I don't remember in the cast picture if they were pictured together because they, because they're on the opposite sides of the couch, but they do look cohesive. They both kind of have a similar theme of like a cocktail sparkly sequence thing going on. Um, but yeah, I love this look on Garcelle. She looks amazing. And um, how do I rate Garcelle this season? Um, I did appreciate her opening up when it comes to her boys more, but I would love for Garcelle. I know her boys are, are part of her story, but I want to hear more of Garcelle, the individual story. And she got a beach house. We still haven't seen that beach house. I feel like she's still holding back when it comes to her actual personal, like what's going on with her personally. She kind of did release a little bit more of what she had going on personally um, at the Spain trip when it comes to her feeling lonely and stuff like that. 
But I kind of wish she would have been a little bit more vulnerable when it comes to that to elaborate more why she feels that way. And what is she doing to like cope with that? I would have loved to know more about that. So see it next season. I would love to see her share more of her actual true personal story that isn't just about her being a mom or a grandma or um career. I want to know what's going on with you, the individual. Those things, yes, they're part of you, but they're not all the way what is you. What do you like to do for fun? Like, <laughs> like other than, you know, hang out with Sutton and stuff. Like, I just want to, I would love to know more of like her personal story, just a little bit more. Um, now, I will also say this, besides that, during the season, I love that she finally did check some of these ladies. I love that she said what she said and she wasn't changing it. Like, but she did it in a way where she wasn't um, stereotyped. Um, or, I mean, yeah, you're going to have some ignorant people that are going to stereotype her for obvious reasons. But overall, she did it in a way that was classy and not out of anger. She just, like, was assertive. She stood her ground and was assertive. So I love that she checked Dorit. I love that read that she had with Dorit um, <laughs> in the confessional. It came to the robbery and the jury. But, and that's one of the things I am looking forward to because I know she's going to have, going to have to answer to that at the reunion because I know Dorit's got something to say about that. And in the previews, it would show that she has something to say about that. Um, also, I would just love to, and I love that she stood her ground when it came to the Erica situation. Erica's fishing for apologies and she's like, you know what? I didn't want you to fall, but I still got questions and that's not changing. <laughs> I respect it. I do. I do. I do. I do. And I also love that she backed off of being like, kind of like son's guard dog. She's like, I, son's going to have to get this herself, which we'll get to her. It was probably good that, that Garcelle did that because it definitely... In a weird way, it was co cohesive with Sun's story arc in a way. And I love that. Um, I want to see more of Garcelle and Crystal getting closer. If Anna Marie does come back next season, which I think she probably might. I don't think they're going to one and done her, even though she didn't give much this season. I think they're going to give her one more chance because she didn't do anything that was cancelable where they're just going to get rid of her. They're, they're <laughs> um, she did... It, she was controversial and she did say some things that were annoying, but she wasn't like a Diana Jenkins. It wasn't that bad. Um, I mean, I don't think it was that bad. I feel like Diana Jenkins was racist. So, I mean, to me, that's that's here and Anna Marie's here. I mean, it's not not comparable to me <laughs> for obvious reasons. So, um. But I mentioned Anna Marie because I would love to see now that Anna Marie is no longer fighting Kyle's battles. I would love it. I want to see Anna Marie and see if Anna Marie and Garcelle can bond and just kind of be the sisters of the show. And maybe um, Garcelle can help Anna Marie bring it in and bring it on down. In the words of Candy Burris, when it comes to coming in too hot. Because... I will say this. I don't think the, um, anyway, no, we'll wait until we get to Anna Marie to have that discussion, but I would love that. I think that'd be great. Um, and also more scenes with her and Crystal. Cause I do like that her and Crystal are getting along a lot more now. Um, the other thing that I've thought of besides I love that Garcelle and Erica are getting along a lot more now. Harvey's wondering what would it be like if Garcelle leaned more to the villain side. We do need someone to spice this, spice this group up just a little bit. And I feel like Garcelle sometimes tap dances to being the villain. And Erica had her turn already. I don't think that's fair. I don't think Erica needs to stay that way. Or if she did, she's one of those people I think she does better when she has a partner with her doing it. And not Kyle <laughs> and not anyone that's like Elisa Renna. You need like a playful villain. Someone that just adds a little mischievous, a little bit more mess. 
I want Garcelle to, I would love if Garcelle leaned into that just a little bit more because if she's not going to share her personal story like that, you could use her for that. And that could be a good, that could be a good way of keeping her on the show too. Cause as much as like, I always put on for them, for us, I always do, I always put on for us. I, I need to be fair. <laughs> and Garcelle in comparison to some of the other ladies, still is not giving a lot um, of her own personal story. So there's that. Speaking of Crystal, I love this outfit. I love it. I love it. This for me, especially with now knowing what the theme is. Okay, before I knew what the theme was, because of the way they had her pictured, because they had her picture by these trees, and she's also wearing green. She literally blended into the background. It was giving camouflage. Um, not the pattern, because the pattern to me is looking a little bit more like um, there's like some um, leaves on it. It's but kind of like brightish, like peacock almost, like a peacock, but like not obnoxiously bright like it's 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 more colorful of a green than it looks in this picture um because when they sat down in the reunion it gave what needed to be given um so before i knew the theme i probably would have given this an eight and now that i know the theme i'm giving it a nine because the reason why i'm only giving a nine and not a ten is although i love this look on her and i would actually personally be someone who would wear this dress it's safe it is safe, um, but it does match the theme of what the reunion is. Um, I just wish they had theme color. <laughs> it would just it would make it perfectly cohesive if they did. But anyway, so how did I feel about Crystal's season? <sighs> I really want like Crystal, okay, first of all. And I love that she had a story with it when it came to like her brother. And I know when it comes to like East non-Western cultures, your family is part of your story. So I want to make that very clear that I understand why she led with that. But as, <laughs> as a Western thinking person who watches a reality show, it, did not work for me all the way. I wish we would have got more of Crystal. Uh, we did get more of it through her brother. We know that she's a control freak. We're learning more of that. And we also got it through Anna Marie to a certain degree, you know. But I just wish with Crystal, it didn't require others to pull what she's giving out. I feel like she's someone who needs someone to pull things out of her. Um, and I understand why, because, you know, she did share a lot of her personal story that, you know, she's always, she's been very, very open and candid about the fact that she struggles with eating disorder and self, you know, a little bit of self-esteem issue with ties to all that. And, um, her scenes with her and hip hop Rob, um, love it. Love it. Um, aka her husband, like, but like, it just kind of bothers me. There's more to be said when your husband has more of a personality than you, but that's not always a bad thing. Cause we've seen that before with other housewives. I just hope and want her to find her footing in this group a little bit more. I would say this is the first season where it seemed like she was actually part of the group though. So that was a step forward. She definitely felt like she was more part of this group. She did not feel like um, she was separate from the group like that. Like her and Chris, um, Crystal and like Erica had some scenes together. Um, Crystal and Garcelle. Sun, I love that Sun and Crystal are now getting along. That I do love. I love there's kind of like an alliance between the three of them. I love that. I'm not even going to lie. I love that they're all building a friendship. Um, and I love that. Um, I, I do. Yeah, I do like that a lot. Um, but I guess moving forward, I do want her to share more of her story. 
I need her to, I need her to find her comfortability and just put more out there. Um, I know that's kind of maybe not her personality all the way. And if it's not, then maybe they do need to drop her down to friend of. And I don't want, I don't want that for her. But <sighs> she didn't really have much of a story. Her story was her brother's story. And that's one of those things that's tricky when you have a not main character be your story. And, but I get it because that would make sense. And it is that way for non-Western culture. Your family is your story. So I get it. I get it. Um, and I do want her to stand up for herself more. Because it seems like all the ladies were trying to tell her, girl, stand up for yourself more. So I am hoping for that. Um, unfortunately, I hate that it took like an Anna Marie to bring that out of you. I just wish you could have did that in other instances, you know? Um, and it was good. It, and I, and the unfortunate story that we did get from her was her health scare. So I did like, I mean, as much as that was unfortunate, that is something that needed to be highlighted because that is a real thing. And the thing that's wild is Crystal is my age. We're the same age. So that is a real thing. And it was kind of scary even seeing that. Like, I can't imagine being in another country and then just having a health scare. That's, that's scary. <laughs> that's super scary. So I already shared what I expect for her next season. Um, what, I, what, how I felt about her during the season. Now the reunion. I forgot to do this with Garcelle. So I'm going to combine them. Um, I'll do Garcelle first and then go to Crystal. So for Garcelle with the reunion, I expect probably her and Dorit are going to go at it. But I think that's really pretty much it for Garcelle. Garcelle is kind of like a background character a little bit this season. And with Crystal, I think Crystal's going to have the smoke for both Dorit <laughs> as well as Anna Marie. But I hope the Anna Marie thing is like a one, like very quick. I think I'm hoping that's just a small segment and then get Dorit together because Dorit was confessional gangster when it came to you a lot. And I have some thoughts to why I think I shared in one of my reviews a while ago because Crystal is equally as fashionable, if not more fashionable than Dorit and her money is not funny. So if you're going to keep a fashion girl and keep um, someone who has an interesting husband and can help move the story along, yeah, Crystal can be your replacement. And I feel like Dorit feels that way. So I think that's why she'd be on Crystal like that. But yeah, so that's kind of how I feel about Crystal. Okay. So, <laughs> the reason why this season was so great, the housewife who's been carrying the season on her back for the third season now, forget the esophagus, that back of hers is strong, sudden. <laughs> and this look, okay, y'all already know. Sun is not known for her fashions. Like at all. Sun is not a fashion girl. Like she has the money and all her coin and her coins is long. And she has the money and funds to wear designer stuff, but it either fits awkwardly or looks like the dress or the outfits wearing her. And what I must tell you, this is the first time I've seen her wear something reunion wise where the dress is not wearing her. She's actually wearing the dress for once. So for that alone, I'm going to give it, um, and this is prior to knowing what the theme is. So prior to the theme, I would have given this look, um, an eight and a half, not eight and a half. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but because I know the theme, 
I'm still going to give it eight and a half because Chris, Sutton's not, Sutton in fashion, that ain't her. It's never been her. <laughs> okay. And then she has this flower here. I love the blue because the blue brings out her eyes more and her hair looks so beautiful, looks luxurious. She looks actually more youthful in this picture than I've seen her look in a minute. Like she looks amazing. Like I, this is a great picture of her. It really, really is. Like they did that. Um, but then she has this flower. Just oddly placed here in the middle. If it feels anyone else, I'll be like, what is that? But because it's sudden, it, it it's campy. It makes sense because sudden's a little bit kooky, a little bit on the campy side. So this, this is on brand. So yeah. Um, the season, I'm not going to go too long on sudden because sudden carry the season. Okay. So there's not much to really, there's nothing to expound on when it comes to that. She carried that season. She carried it on her back. Um, and she has been easily so what i expect from her when it comes to reunion though because child she's got all the conflict and she's sitting next to andy on the other side she's got all the conflict all of it so she has issues with kyle we know why because kyle was confessional gangster when it came to sudden like the whole season and Sun didn't even know it until probably when she watched it back and realized, oh, wow, this chick was talking behind my back the whole entire time. Um, Sun probably, I want Sun and Erica to resolve things because I think when it comes to Sun and Erica, even though Erica, I'm torn because really, if it wasn't for the show, I don't think Sun should ever talk to Erica ever again because... I'm not going to be friends with anyone that calls me see you next Tuesday over and over again. But because it's the housewives and they moved forward and chemistry wise, they have great chemistry when they hang out and stuff. I want to see more of that. I wanted to get resolved because of that alone. I'll just say that as someone who's watching it, that's the only reason why I wanted to get resolved because they do. When they are good, man, they're fun to watch. They just are. Especially her, especially with Garcelle add to the mix, child. The three single ladies. Yes. Um, who else does she have issues with? Um, I think she she already kind of checked Dorit, so that's there's no there's nothing to rehash with Dorit. And then oh, she needs to get Anna Marie together. One more time for the one time. Just get her one more time. Um, because the fact that that lady try, tried to... <laughs> why was her esophagus a conversation like that? I've never... This season was the first time I've said esophagus so many times since I was learning the human anatomy. I've never said it that much. <laughs> Ever. I think the last... Again... Human anatomy was the last time in college was like the last time I talked that much about esophagus and I still didn't talk about esophagus that much during that because I wasn't I wasn't taking human anatomy to become a, like a doctor or anything. I took it. I actually took it to help me study for my personal training exam because you have to know human anatomy when it comes to muscles and stuff like that for personal training. But anyway, got sidetracked. So. Yeah, so I, I there's yeah, son's gonna have a lot to go got to go on what i expect from sun is i want sun to keep that confidence that she had um found in because you could sun's a different person even this picture she looks like a different person she looks like a whole entire new person that confidence is there her soul her shoulders she's like like this she she's not like this she's like this i want her to have that energy during the reunion and i want her to keep that energy moving forward don't let anyone play with you and also i mentioned something about garcelle kind of did back off defending um son as much not because she didn't want to but she was like son can handle herself and that this season she did she found her voice and she didn't lose it and she didn't get flustered she was like no uh-uh we're not doing that and i need that and i, I like name them name them name them like i yes son now y'all over here and 
I'm going to be over here. Like, <laughs> son was letting them know, like, I am her this season. I got money and it's long and it's all mine. I don't need a man. Like, mm. but anyway, <laughs> you could tell son's one of my favorites, but <laughs> that is what I expect from sudden. And I said it wasn't going to be that long, but child, I lied. Anyway, next. Okay, I'm going to explain why I'm laughing. So the website I was looking at for the reunion looks, I wasn't on the Instagram. I should have been on that instead, but I was on a different website that was giving me the reunion looks. Why did they not have Anna Marie in there at all? <laughs> they forgot about her and child, I almost did too. That's how I feel about Anna Marie this season. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What a mess. What a mess. Um, ironically, she's not the flop of the new people this this go around. I would say I'm still giving that to Naneka. But she wasn't that much far behind when it came to the flops of the new people. Um, and this is her first reunion. So this is going to be interesting. See what happens. But in regards to her reunion look. I hate to do this. <sighs> Cause I'm just in case y'all don't realize. And like, even when, so by the way, I also do, um, review yoga videos. I do yoga videos and I review them through YouTubers. And I like to credit myself when it comes to rating things is I'm the Paula Abdul. I do not give crappy ratings. If, it's that bad when it comes to yoga videos, at least. I don't even review it. I'll just I'll just throw it away because I don't want to basically crap on someone else's creation and their content because that's not fair. Anyway, I say that because I'm going to pull Paul Abdul this, but you can read in between the lines how I probably really feel about the look. I have to give it a six and that's me being generous. And the main reason why, and I feel like y'all all know this already. If you already saw the look, because you know why you already saw the look. Cause Sharice from real housewives Potomac wore it last season at their reunion, the exact same dress. I have to knock you down by a lot because, girl, why did you not do your homework? You're literally wearing the same dress that someone else wore in a reunion that really wasn't that long ago. That reunion was less than a year ago. It's the same dress, same color, same everything. She even went blonde just like Cherise went blonde for it. Why didn't anyone tell you? Who was on your team for them to let you do that? I will say this. Anne-Marie looks better in the dress. For sure. For sure. Um, she definitely has more of the body for it. But just similar to um, similar to Charisse, though. I don't like this dress. <laughs> it's not a nice dress. Um, it does work for a cocktail party. So for the theme, I'll give it a six and a half. But this is kind of um, telling based off of how your season was. It's giving flop. Because also the reason why I'm even rating it 6 and 6.5 is because this is the second time she's worn something that another housewife has worn before. The very first opening scene, episode six, the dress she was wearing there. Three, four different housewives has worn that dress before, some version of that dress. At least that time, it was a different color. But like, I'm going to need you to, if you are invited back next season, you need to upgrade your wardrobe and have someone on your team to let 
you know, to let people, to let you know whether you should wear this or not, or if someone else wore this already. You cannot do this. Like, it's giving I'm trying too hard to be a housewife. When you literally are a housewife, for real, for real. Like, you're actually truly a housewife in real life. Like, you have an ex-football player that is pretty well known. I mean, he's well known for the wrong reasons currently, but up until, you know, while the show was filming, that wasn't a thing. People didn't know that yet. So, yeah, but her season. <laughs> Y'all already know how I felt about Anne Marie. She did not share any personal stories, so she wasn't, it wasn't good at all. It was, she had a pretty horrible first season. It wasn't good. It was not a good first season. Um, we know nothing about her. And the most we got from her was during the after show. And that is not how that should go. And she held on to the esophagus way too long. And she thought that would, I don't understand in what reality did that make sense for you to hold on to. And she's really, really overly delusional, but like not housewives delusional. She's just like really kind of like annoying delusional. And I hate them saying all this because I don't want to do this to a someone of color. Like, I don't want to do this to another black woman. But like, it bothers me that she just was not good. <laughs> she, and then her her she manufactured to me a beef with um, Crystal. All her beef was pretty manufactured. Like, it wasn't organic. None of it was. It was just, it's like, it was giving. I have no story of my own, so I'm going to find every little thing to be relevant on this show. And it was just too much. So, I feel like this reunion, she's going to fade away, kind of. Like, she's sitting all the way on the, on the end of the couch on the other side. And other than Crystal... And maybe Sudden might give you some time. I don't think she will. I I hope I kind of really hope Sudden doesn't give her much time. Because, I mean, un unless you're going to share more of your personal story during the reunion, which you shouldn't be doing that, that should have happened during the season. I don't really see how or why she would be invited back, to be honest. Um. Yeah. And I, I want to have something positive to say, but I really don't um, because I just have never seen this where someone has worn the same dress at a reunion that someone else literally wore at, at another reunion. Like, I, it's I, 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 I'm going to do the side by side to show you that. But that's crazy to me that she did that. I don't even understand it. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much, um, concludes the video. Um, we got through all the ladies we, and I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I could see here, but no, we got through, we got through it. So anyway. Um, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mill and the Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.